Hello and welcome to the video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving my three month review of the barefoot shoes. About three months ago, I made the switch to barefoot shoes. And if you haven't seen that video, I suggest you go and check it out. I get people commenting in the comments below that they've had Vivo barefoot shoes and they cracked and they weren't very happy with them. So I thought it'd be of service to share my experience at least and hopefully that will help you guys out. Three months on, these are the barefoot shoes. As you can see, there's no cracks, no material is coming off whatsoever. Pretty much in fantastic condition. I've been wearing these pretty much every single day. I've been going running for them. I've even been hiking on them. And yeah, they're pretty much as good as new. But one pair just wasn't quite enough. I've actually just ordered two more pairs. And I'll tell you why. So we are now in January in the UK and it's pretty damn wet and muddy everywhere. And the Vivo barefoot shoes, the ones I have, aren't really made for muddy conditions. You can see from the tread here and the material. So they've been great in autumn, but I feel like it was time to get something better. I actually have a pair of hiking boots that I bought last winter, some Adidas ones, and I've worn them twice this winter and they actually gave me knee pain. I honestly couldn't believe it because the first time I've not worn Vivos for so long. So I wore them once and I thought that must just be a coincidence. I'm, and then I wore them again and then my knees really hurt. So I was like, oh my God, if I don't wear barefoot shoes, I get knee pain. So I've ordered two more pairs. The first ones I've got are the Primus Leap 2 All Weather. These are pretty much the same shoe I have, but they're waterproof. Oh yeah. Oh, it smells so good. If you can see, these are my old ones. So these are just the regular Prima Sleep 2, and then these are the waterproof ones. So these ones have like a kind of cool mesh here. These are gonna be safe for summer now. Yeah, these are gonna be my walking round ones. So I'm super stoked. And then I got the trail running shoes. These are the Primus Trail FGs. They have a lacing system here. These are made for trail running, which is exactly what I'm going to be using them for. They also get extra laces. Nice. So that's going to be it for the first part of the video. I will be test driving these pairs of shoes and then giving a further review on how these ones shake up. From looks alone, they look absolutely sick. I'm super excited to try them out. But yeah, looks isn't everything. So I want to see if they really hold up in the field. Test them on some runs, test them on some walking in the water, in the rain. And yeah, I'll get back to you. So see you soon. And I'm back and it's been about two weeks since you last saw me, about a minute ago since I just recorded that sweet montage. And I'm finally ready to give my thoughts and opinions on these new shoes. So here we go. I'll start with the Primus Light 2s, which I actually have on now because they're so light they feel like slippers. And these are such an incredible shoe. It literally, as I said before, doesn't feel like you're wearing a shoe when you're wearing these. Wasn't able to get as much good footage of me using the shoes as I did in my previous video. It is the winter in the UK here, which means it's dark till about 8.30 in the morning and then dark again at four o'clock. And they're usually the times I do go and out use the shoes. So the footage I got is pretty terrible, but take my word for it, these guys are incredible. These are my favorite ones for sure. They're exactly the same as the first trainers I got, but completely waterproof. It pretty much rains every day now and kind of like a water resistant shell on the top here. And yeah, they're dry as a bone because when I was wearing my other ones, the reason I wanted to get new shoes was because my feet were soaking wet, unfortunately. So yeah, these solved the trick and I've even been for a few runs in these and yeah, they're light as a feather. Nothing else really needed to be said and yeah. I still love it that you can do that with your shoes. These I would give a solid 9.5 out of 10. I'd probably even just get these over the other pair because it's always useful to be water resistant. Zero complaints from these guys. Secondly, we have the trail shoes. So these are the FG, which means for flat ground trail shoes. They have a SG, which stands for 
soft ground trails. So pretty much they have a shoe for any occasion. The ones I was really interested to try because these are obviously a different type of shoe to the other one. Originally, I was put off by this lacing system, but it's actually a dream. You, I understand why they have it because you get the trainer real nice and tight. And when you're like running, especially being like running through woods and muddy conditions, it helps keep them tight to your feet. Tracking is absolutely awesome. I've been running up and down gravelly stairs through muddy woods, haven't slipped over once. Yeah, they keep your feet completely bone dry. I obviously haven't been like walking through rivers or anything, but just running in the rain, my feet are completely nice and dry when I get out of them. They don't quite fold. Oh no, they do. <laughs> Originally, when I first tried them on, they did feel a little tight around here, but I literally felt it for like the first day and I was a bit concerned that maybe I'd have to send them back, but that loosened up real quick and I don't feel that anymore, fortunately. Give these another solid nine out of 10. If you're interested in trail running or any kind of outdoor running in winter conditions, these are absolutely incredible. I love the shoes. I love the ethics of the company. So that means I now have three pairs. If you're new to barefoot shoes, I don't know if you watched my previous video, there is an adaptation week or two weeks, especially if you're gonna be doing a lot of distance in them. Most normal trainers have a heel on the shoe and these don't. You will be using different muscles and it can cause some kind of pain in the back of your calves, but that's totally normal. You're just walking how you're supposed to walk, not with a raised heel like in the trainers that we get used to wearing. I'll just go over something new I found out since my previous video as well. They also have another website called Revivo. I believe it's that, I'll put it up on the screen now. And this is basically where you can buy secondhand shoes because they they are expensive. So these ones range from excellent down to good condition. And it's basically, you can save anywhere from 20 to $60 on a pair of Revivo. So if you were unsure whether you wanted to get some, you, you could always get a cheaper secondhand pair. And originally I wanted to buy some shoes off the Revivo and kind of review them. Fortunately, they didn't have the trail ones in my size, but maybe in the future, because they are quite expensive. But as I said in the previous video, they do have an amazing money back guarantee. If you're not happy within 100 days, you can send them back, no questions asked, and they will refund you, which is something really awesome. And yeah, it gives you the freedom. You can try them because they are an expensive choice. And yeah, if you're really not happy with them, they're happy to send them back. So that's always something to think about. If you are thinking about trying the barefoot shoes, you really don't have anything to lose, give them a try. And yeah, that's everything I have to say. I wanna keep this one short and sweet. I've made a video all about the company and the ethics previously before so if you're interested more in that and pop back and see the video I'll pop it here but yeah that's it Revivo Barefoot Shoes absolutely amazing I love them I can't wear anything else I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but I'm more than happy to be wearing these barefoot shoes now so it's all good drop the video a like if you found it useful also comment below if you use a different brand of barefoot shoes I'd be interested to know your opinions and your thoughts because I got lots of interesting comments on my previous video subscribe if you are new it doesn't cost you anything and it really helps me out a lot it means the world and I'll catch you guys in the next one